hello guys welcome to the part 2 of nodal analysis in this video we shall discuss some more types of questions regarding nodal analysis which have been asked in both ESC and gate examinations previously okay so let's get started this is the question we are having right now and it is asked in UPSC engineering services prelims in 2018 and the question is pretty similar to that which we have covered in our previous video and you have to find out the current through this particular resistance over here okay very simple same as that but this question has a bit of a twist okay let's see what the twist is following all the steps let's assign our reference node okay assigning node voltage then we are taking this in ground then what we are doing we are writing down the equation okay we are moving from this point to this point okay so we will write v naught from this voltage here this is the reference voltage v naught so v naught and when we come here we need meet the positive terminal okay so we write here negative and vice versa if this battery would have been inverse okay if the positive terminal was down and the negative terminal was up we would have written here plus sign but since we are meeting here with the positive terminal first okay if you move from this point to this point you meet with a positive terminal so we write here minus sign and vice versa and we write your voltage okay we write the voltage upon the resistance we have met in the path okay for moving from this reference voltage to this voltage source this is the 4 ohm resistance we are meeting with okay so we write here 4 then we write plus okay this ground is actually for all these terminals these is this is ground this is ground this is ground okay so what we are doing when we move to this particular branch we have v naught minus 0 because we are not having voltage source attached to this 2 ohm resistance over here so this is ground so the potential is 0 here we are going this way okay this way no voltage source the only thing we are having is the ground terminal so we are writing v0 minus 0 upon the resistance which we met okay this way if you travel this way and this way it is 0 potential over here so v0 minus 0 and this is your 2 ohm resistance over here then we are having then we move from this terminal to here okay now the twist we are having is that these two resistance happen to be in series okay so what we do we write v naught and since we have no voltage source here we write 0 okay v naught minus 0 upon these two resistance happen to be in series so we write here 8 5 plus 3 you know series parallel combination of resistance equivalent so we write the equivalent resistance of these two resistances which is 8 ohm equals to 6 why 6 this is your current source over here no voltage source no resistance nothing straight away current so we write this as here now when you solve this equation you get on solving your nodal equation you get the value of v naught as this now we come to our question what is the value of current across this particular resistance now you people must be thinking v equals to i r so i equals to v by r in this case we are having v naught by r so what we are doing 78 upon 7 into 5 and you will be taking the answer as 78 upon 35 right but this answer is wrong okay the twist in the question was these two resistances happen to be in series now these two resistances uh, when combined will draw power from your sources so you will not put the value of the resistance okay this uh, 5 ohm okay you are not going to put 5 ohm but the combination because the current which is passing through this element will pass through this element and these two elements combinedly okay uh, these two uh, resistances together will draw power from the sources so what you have to do is it is 
v not upon r which is 78 upon 7 5 plus 3 you use the combination over here okay you can also write it as 78 upon 7 into 8 this is your v and this is your r and you get the answer as 39 upon 28 ampere okay this is the value of current which is passing through 5 ohm resistance the twist here is don't put the value of the resistance for which they are asking okay people will do this mistake okay and they are having options for the same as well okay this is the case don't put this resistance value these two resistances combined will draw power from your sources whether it is voltage source or current source so these two voltages will act simultaneously hence the current drawn this point okay the current drawn from here is the one which is passing through this and this as well you cannot make this resistance as 5 okay because this is not the only resistance which is drawing power here both of these are acting together so this is the question and this was the twist and this was your mistake okay and uh, it is a very common mistake students do okay so keep this in mind this is your answer and this was the question of ESC prelims 2018 okay let's get back to more questions in the next video stay tuned